Okay, so now we're trying to solve or find x, and rather than the obvious pun of, oh look, there's the x, we would try and solve or find x using some algebraic methods. So we have the sine squared of x plus sine x is zero. I'm going to common factor a sine x out, which would leave sine of x plus one behind. So now I have two different brackets multiplying to give zero. I would know that the first has to be zero, or the second bracket has to be zero. This means that we are looking for where is sine of x equal to negative one, and where is sine of x equal to zero. So we critically examine our function of y equals sine x, and we see that in red where we'll draw, it is at zero here, at zero, and at pi. Now we also, where is sine going to be equal to negative one? In blue, we will notice that it's a negative one at three pi over two. So our solutions are going to be x equals zero plus two k pi, or x equals pi plus two k pi. And for the sine of negative one, we would get x equals three pi over two plus two k pi. And some of us have happened to notice that we could compress those two and say that that is zero plus k pi, and you would generate the exact same answers. Okay, so now we'll try and do 9e as well while we're on a roll here. So cos of 2x plus 2 cos of 2x plus 1 equals zero. I'm going to factor this expression because it would factor the same as if you had a squared plus 2a plus one equals zero. That's a perfect square. You would take this and write it as a plus one onto a plus one, which is just a plus one squared. But instead of a, I have cos of two x. So this should actually be cosine of two x plus one onto cos of two x plus one equals zero. Were we to FOIL this, you would get cos squared plus cos 2x plus another cos 2x plus one, and you would get the same thing. So now I have cos of 2x plus one all squared equals to zero. Taking the square root of both sides, I have cosine of 2x plus one equals zero. Take the one to the other side, cosine of twice the angle is negative one. I'm now going to grab my cosine wave and take a look at it, and the cosine of negative one is right here at pi. That's where it's equal to negative one. So my angle, 2x, is equal to pi plus 2k pi, and that is the only place where cos is equal to negative one between zero and two pi. So that is what twice the angle is, therefore the angle is pi over two plus k pi when you divide each by two. That would be our solution.